Today we will be teaching you how to use the ROS vision switcher and the GUI interface. This is the global memory. To reset the board, you hit store all, recall all. This is the preview bus. You use this to bring up the preview of each camera before you bring it live. This is the program bus. This is where you cut from one camera to another during a live show. This is the source bus. This is where all of your sources and cameras are stored. You select background and dissolve, and then you fade it in. Hit background, wipe, Go to the GUI interface and choose which wipe you would like to use. We'll use the star pattern. And then you fade it in. The auto transition is for when you want to do a quick transition. The cut button is when you want to do a quick cut. To set your keys, you go to key 1, press select key 1, press auto select. You go to the source bus to select your source. For this tutorial, we will use CG1. And you do the same for key 2. To use a key during your show, you hit key 1 under transition and fade it in. To change the background and to use a key, you hit background and key 2 and then fade it in. We're going to set the chroma key on the Emily buses. To do this, you, you select key 1, press chroma key, and then you choose the camera on the source bus that is facing the green screen. Then you go to the GUI interface and press key initialize. And then you go back down to the preview and program bus and you select the background that you're going to use, and then on your working buses, you select the Emily one under preview, and then you fade it in. That is all you need to know to produce a basic show for the Ross Vision Switcher and GUI interface. We hope this video was informative and that you can now successfully use the Ross Vision Switcher.